sun shining today, but let's take the stock M4 to a car meet. All right, so I got this cool little app. It's called Beamer Link. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, one of the reasons why I got this, like 35 bucks in the app store is to monitor oil temperature and oil pressure. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a must have. Shout out to my boy Vin. Hey, for what's up everybody? Car guys together here on yes, this sir. nice hot sunny day, man. It's not just about here? the cars today. It's about the Crocs, bro. Oh man. Dude, oh, I hey man. I know, hey, hey. JR didn't wear the Crocs, bro. Hey, hey man. Fuck, hey. Dude. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> you had one job. There's one thing more important than cars today, and that's Crocs. It makes and if you're not wearing Crocs, what's up, get out of here. It makes my feet stink. Needs more flair, dude. I, had my I can't talk. I'm not wearing any Crocs here. I can't, I can't talk, dude. You missed the dude. assignment, bro. Hey, man. Oh. My boy Vince tripping out. Oh, the cops got a Croc on. Oh, shit. All right, you have to arrest everybody that's not wearing Crocs. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> G80 gang. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Needs more flair. All right, I'm on the show. Oh! Yeah, okay. Nah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes in the dark. That's all that matters. Oh, I'm going to wear these. I'm going to show. Dude, man, Dunga's car looks freaking absolutely amazing, dude. Check that out. The wheels, dream wheels, right here. I'm telling you. And this wrap, is it a wrap? Either way, it looks fucking dope. Of course, you got Ben's car. Jimmy's car. Where's Phil? Oh, there's Phil. He said, later. Some really cool cars here. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people are dipping out right now. This car just slaps. The next day. So I bought the yellow DRLs, which are very a popular mod for the F8X chassis. The issue is, is yellow going to look good on blue? So we will find that out in a minute. So in the meantime, let me go ahead and get everything ready. We'll install it and we'll see if yellow DRLs are gonna look good on San Marino blue. That would be nice right about now, not gonna lie. All right, so let's get into this. So I've had this sitting in my garage for a little bit now, for actually a month, maybe a little bit more than that. But I don't know, I've just been having second thoughts on how this will look on San Marino Blue or just blue in general. Uh, but one thing I did find out, I should have known better, me being new to the BMW community, that you can get these for half the price. I know the distributors are selling these for 300 bucks, but on Alibaba, you can get them for, I don't know, 140, $150. I don't know what the shipping costs are from Alibaba, but I did pay 300 bucks for this. Truth be told, I don't know if it's the same part as the Alibaba ones. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'll post a link down below on where I got this and also the Alibaba link or the AliExpress. Is that the Alibaba? Alibaba, AliExpress, whatever it is, uh, both of them down below. You make the decisions on which one that you want to buy if you're in a market for something like this. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this unboxed and hopefully I don't jack this up because I've never done this before. I've only seen a couple videos on this, but we will see how it goes. And the module is right here. So let's get this out of the way. We don't need this. That way. And let's see here. These are the modules. Four total. Okay. All right. So I watched a couple videos, and this seems easy enough. Doesn't look like it should be too hard. Uh, but in the meantime, I did get some thermal paste. But also, I've seen people use quick weld or JB weld. I don't know which one to use. Thermal, thermal paste seems like the right uh, thing to use because I felt the uh, little heat sink part on the top on where you install these and it does get pretty warm. I don't know if that's from the actual LED lights itself or from the engine, but I don't know. So that looks like a T something, might be a T20, I think. Yeah, T20. One of the reasons why I'm not worried, too worried about, um, I think I'm gonna use the quick weld or the JB weld, to be honest with you, because it just sets faster. And these, you can find replacements for those, or you can buy replacements on those. Not exactly sure how much they are, but I don't think they should be very expensive. How am I supposed to pull it out? There's a little tab. I don't want to break anything. Yeah, there you go. And... We might just have a couple of electrical connections here. Never done this before. Push pull. And I think you got a push pull here too. All right, now we're off. Oh, and it took a few seconds. Okay. I can't even get the flathead back there. There's just no room. So 
try something. Let me try this here. Let's see if this will work. All right, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, there's just not enough room to get a flathead back there. None at all. I feel it coming loose now. It's getting really loose. And I think it's off. Look at that. That was easy. Okay. And that's off. Got some 600 grit. That's all I got. put that much so I'm just hoping I put enough everything just falls right to those grooves all right it's about 10 minutes later and let's see yeah these things are not going anywhere so it says it cures in about four to six hours but like I said this is not going anywhere I mean if I had to take this off this would be a major pain and on a side note a couple of you guys actually told me to take out these charcoal filters um, to get a little bit more intake sound but I didn't really hear much of a difference. I'm gonna get real intake soon anyways. Um, but let's go, let's go ahead and get this installed in the car. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see if this works. Hopefully I didn't jack anything up. Okay. I see yellow. Oh my Lord. Oh my God. Now that is yellow. Like really, really yellow. Oh my God. Wow. I don't know. Do I like it? Huh. I don't know how the yellow is gonna show up on camera, but it's like yellow, yellow. How does the yellow look on the blue? What do you guys think? Hmm. I don't know. Huh. Well, no turning back now. I gotta do the other side now. Okay, driver's side is done. We now have the passenger side here. Now, to be completely honest with you, I think the proper way to do it is actually use thermal adhesive. This was on for five minutes and this does get pretty warm, but I think you'll be just fine if you use JB Weld or what um, I've been hearing a lot of people do is use double-sided tape. Uh, I think you'll be fine, but I think the right way to do it is to use the thermal adhesive. Like I said before, I don't wanna keep repeating myself, but it just it gets pretty warm. I guess this is their cooling fins to cool this off right here. So I understand why they do it in the engineering. I'm not an engineer, but um, yeah. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get the side done. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. You, you guys, I don't know, um, but I already did one. So I gotta do both of them now and then we'll see how it goes. But we have two more parts. Um, waiting for the uh, M4. So if you wanna see those, what I have coming for the M4, hit that subscribe button. I never really say that. I never say, you know, subscribe and all that stuff. Like and all that stuff, I never really do. But if you guys can, I mean, I would, I, I'd really do appreciate it. So I'm not gonna put these on too tight because from the factory, they were pretty loose. So maybe only a few foot pounds, but that's it. All right, let's test it out. Yep, it works. Huh, holy crap, that is bright. The yellow's really, really bright. I mean, it really sticks out. When they say they're yellow, I mean, they are truly, truly yellow. 
All right, let's get this car out of the garage and see how it really looks out in the wild. Amazing M4 CS, the G80, looking good, bro. drive mode and then it hits sorry officer <laughs> sorry officer <laughs> uh, i'll let you off with the one hey don't post this we're in mexico <laughs> yeah we're in mexico yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks so much Ian. i appreciate it yeah, yeah, have, yeah have a good night brother. Oh, all right hey, good night. Good you. Yeah, all right brother yeah see you, brother. See you once again yeah. next time i'll right, tell you stuff tonight yep see you bro hey, it was good meeting you see you bro see you again. yep